the Leach family live in South London with two dogs. Hi, this is Dave and this is Herbie. But one of them is a problem child. Dave is an incredibly lovable dog, but he has a disgusting habit. He eats his own poo and occasionally Herbie's. I just don't know really what to say about that. It's beyond disgusting. This French bulldog is so ashamed of his dirty disposition that he eats his poo in private. I don't tend to see him actually eating it as such because I try and stop him as soon as I see him um, going anywhere near it. But I think he's a gobbler. Guys, do you want chicken salad for lunch? Eating poo is bad, but what he loves to do next is even worse. It's kind of embarrassing when people come to the house and I see Dave jumping up wanting a kiss, and you're like, no. <laughs> we tried once putting chilli powder in it. We were recommended to put a teaspoon and put in a tablespoon, <laughs> thinking he wouldn't go anywhere near it, and he gobbled the whole thing up. With no end in sight, Zanna's in a constant state of high alert to dispose of poo before Dave can tuck in. This is Poo Patrol. We can be out here for a few minutes. We just sort of do a bit of a yo-yo in and out. But I think it's just round to here. With patrols having to be just as regular as Dave's movements, the whole family mucks in. It's massively disruptive. So our biggest dream would be having a normal dog <laughs> that doesn't eat his poo. Graham knows that training Dave to ditch poo is going to be no walk in the park. In a study some years ago of dog intelligence, French Bulldogs were rated 106. That puts them as not terribly intelligent compared to, let's say, a Border Collie. So I'm expecting I'll probably have to repeat it for him a few times. I think I might leave that. So will the man who takes no poo from pooches get Dave to kick the habit? <laughs> Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> Hi, you must be Susanna. Come on in. Right on cue, Graham gets a warm welcome. Oh, God, no. I mean, I like you, but I don't want to kiss you because I'm not quite sure where your gob's been, frankly. Lovely boy. He's a really affectionate dog. He loves kissing, licking, strangers, the family, whoever. I mean, do you tell him? No, no not I, <laughs> good friends I tell, but not strangers. I right. just try and take him off gently and avoid to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bless him. Graham wants to see this dirty habit for himself, and hiding round the corner gives Dave the privacy he needs to go about his business. Ooh, yeah. And straight away, Dave delivers. That's not nice to watch. Mm. Lovely. Something you can't unsee. No, that's no. true. <laughs> I don't normally watch it, because obviously I stop him before he actually does it. You can kiss him when he comes back, no. I'm not. He's your dog. <laughs> Changing Dave's diet and being on constant poo patrol isn't working. Graham believes he has a no-nonsense technique that will put Dave off poo for good. What you've tried up to now has been, well, completely ineffective. Right. You've, you've given it your best shot. So I've got a plan, um, which is a pretty simple one, actually. Um, we need to train a habit. Because we can't be there all the time, we need to rely on that habit still kicking in automatically. I am fairly sceptical about it, just because I've tried everything that's been suggested. Yeah. Graham's plan is to get Dave to quit his disgusting habit by replacing it with a new one, leaving well alone. I'm going to teach Dave a leave it command. I want him to leave it so many times that that's just the new normal for him. He doesn't even look at the poo anymore. First, Graham needs to teach Dave to associate the phrase leave it with a reward. And this one's tastier than poo, chicken. I've got some food in my hand and I'm going to close my hand. Naturally, he's going to try and get that. He'll probably use his paws, we'll see. And the only thing that's going to get him the food is when he backs off. OK. If Dave backs off when he's ordered to leave the food... Leave it. ..he's rewarded. Good boy, you get a bit, there you go. So for doing nothing, you get treats. Key to this technique working is getting Dave used to following a command by treating him if he obeys. Leave it. Good boy. Further down the line, we won't be using the treat. We'll simply say, leave it, and when he walks away from dog poo, he gets praise. The more he's praised for losing interest, the more his new habit of leaving it begins to form. 
He's learned it too quickly. <laughs> but will it work when Dave is confronted with poo? I think he's learned to leave it to a certain degree, but that's food. I'm just curious to see how it's going to work um, with his actual poo. Time to find out. No. A bit clearer with your no. No. Better. Leave it. And then? Good boy. So when you say no, he's kind of in limbo. He doesn't know what to do next. But now, when you're saying leave it, he's like, oh, that. No. Leave it. Good boy. Good. As Zana's timing improves, Dave begins to get the message. No. Good boy. That's super. Yeah. I did uh, mention earlier that French Bulldogs aren't the most intelligent of the breeds, apparently. Well, Dave's really booked that trend. He's a clever dog. That's been good that he has, he's been that close to it, so... But let's do something which really probably shouldn't be possible at this stage and take you out of it so you're not okay. here in person. Putting a complete stop to Dave's poo munching will require Zanna to repeat the leave it command hundreds of times until he's fully trained out of his old ways and leaves his doings all by himself. Now that would usually mean Zanna permanently posted in poo corner, but Graham's come up with a rather inventive solution. It's a masterpiece, that. Using two cameras to monitor Dave and a speaker hidden in a gnome, Zanna can give her commands from anywhere in the house. And you need that. So if you pop that on, you'll be able to speak to him. And if you look now, already he's just moved in there. No. A bit louder. Leave it. Good boy. <laughs> no. No. As Zanna gives her commands remotely, Dave backs away. No. no. Leave it. Good boy. Clever boy. <laughs> He has no idea what's going on. Oh, no. Quick, quick. No. Leave it. Good boy. Good boy. With enough repetition... Leave it. Good boy. He walks away from the poo entirely. He's walked away. He's walked away. <gasps> Clever boy. Whilst the gnome isn't strictly necessary, Graham's training regime is. What Zanna needs to do is to keep telling Dave to leave it and keep praising him when he gets it right. And that's going to create an ingrained habit. And when that happens, he will just walk away from Pooh. She won't need to tell him. Oh, my God, I cannot <laughs> believe he did that. You will have to watch him like a hawk. OK, and how long do you think? I think weeks rather than months, put it that way. OK, that'd be fantastic. Mm. With the training regime in place, Dave may be on his way to kicking his dirty habit for good. 